Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at buoyancy, more specifically a buoyancy effector. And our goal of all this is we want to be able to actually have our character interact with fluids like this acid bath here. And we want them to be able to float to some extent. And eventually be able to kind of like work their way out of there, maybe. There we go. Um, so that's what we're looking at today is buoyancy effector 2D. Let's get started. To create an area that has buoyancy, we need two things really. Um, I'm gonna check in here and we're gonna zoom in and here's my acid bath. So if we look over in the hierarchy here, I've got an acid bath and it's made up of a bunch of different tiles of acid all overlapping so that they're all laid in there. Um, I'm gonna go to the empty object which is the acid bath and that's where I'm gonna add my components here just to keep it neat and easy to work with. Um, the first component that you need is a collider. So we're going to add in our basic 2D box collider. Now this collider has to be a trigger and it's going to be used by an effector. And then of course just like all colliders we're going to edit that collider. And let's zoom out so we can see where the heck that is. My least favorite function of Unity. Let's get this over closer to our acid bath. Okay, And now we're going to right click and drag that over there. And okay. Get this lined up roughly to the space that's going to be where the buoyancy is going to take place. There we go. And now with this, depending on what you want to have happen with your buoyancy, you may have your character like the example before where he jumps in and he bobs up and down, or you may have a character that jumps in and he slowly just kind of goes down through the bottom of this. That's going to be determined by the next component. So as you can see, we're getting this little error message over here that says this collider will not function without an effector. So let's go ahead and add a buoyancy effector. Let's try spelling that right though. Buoyancy, there we go. Buoyancy effector 2D. Okay, now on our buoyancy effector, we've got several things that are going on here. We have the density, which is how viscous this is, how thick it is. So when you hit it, will you actually like interact with it or anything like that? And maybe a good way to go about adjusting this is to go ahead and just hit play. And then you can jump into your game here. And with that, we can hop in here. And now we can go ahead and test this out. And right there you can see the density is way too low. He's not interacting at all with it. And this is gonna differ based upon your character, the mass of your character, the size of your character, and all that. So I go ahead and I adjust this a little bit. We're gonna click back into the game and now we're gonna try this out again. And oh, we can see it's slowing it down a little bit. Okay, and then there's one other little feature here that's uh, gonna be problematic for this as well. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see that. All right, it's this really faint blue line that's going on here. This is your surface level. So actually, the density isn't beginning to impact your character until this line. And that's way too low. So we're going to take that and we're going to dial that up. Let's put this up. Uh, let's zoom out so we can see the top of our water or our acid bath here. We're going to put that up just below the edge of that. There we go. So when your character hits it, immediately they start having an interaction. So now I made those two adjustments here. We're going to jump in and we can see that he is floating here. Now, the density is a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring that down until my character starts to actually sink down into this a little bit here. All right. Now we're having this effect. Okay. We're going to come out. We're going to try this again. If I can get out of here. That's the other difficult part. Okay. And we hop in and bobbing, and bobbing a little too high. So now I'm going to take my surface level, and I'm going to dial that down until my character is bobbing just about head above the level here, like that. Like he's actually in the water, or in the acid bath here. So that makes a little bit more sense. Now we're going to come back over the game. We're going to hop out of here. And, uh, well, let's try that again. Yeah, come on, get out of there. And this is the challenging part. My character is rigid body is set up so um, the y velocity whenever it's positive or negative it's either he's jumping or he's falling and that's the problem with the buoyancy so I have effectors on the side that allow him to jump out here so if we take a look at this now here's my numbers I go ahead and I click play get out of there and now I can go back in and I can dial in these numbers And I think before on the example that I showed I had like 3.29 here and again these numbers are gonna be different for you and then I had like 3.26 I think now, the second thing here, we can add one more element to this, which, depending on your game, may have a huge impact on what's going on. 
um, you can go into the flow actually of everything with your buoyancy effector and you have your flow angle this will actually add a current to whatever you're adding buoyancy to so I could add a current to my buoyancy effector that like pushes them back automatically or pushes them up or to the right or to the left or however we want to go with this now this is the funky part the flow angle is zero which is basically right along the x-axis here. If I take that flow angle and I dial that up to 90, now we're going straight up the y-axis, and then if I keep going in increments of 90, we work our way around. So let's say I really just want him to like pop to the top right away, so when he jumps in, he has the opportunity to jump out because eventually, eventually the acid bath is going to take life. Okay, and that's the way I'm going to set it up. So I'm going to put this at 90, and then I'm going to dial up my flow magnitude to like 25. Let's give that a go here. And now we're going to hop in, and we're going to actually be able to move upwards in this um, acid bath now. So when we pop in, shoot our barrels, hop in here, and bloop, and he pops up right away here. And you can see he's being pushed up a little bit. And that's going to actually hop help him to hop out here the way my character's designed. Now, again, if I want to adjust that flow so now he's going back to the left, maybe we want this like, oh, he missed his jump, and now he's going to go backwards. We're going to make this a full 180, so he's going in the opposite direction here. And uh, let's go ahead and click back into our game and try that. And now he hops in, and you can see, little by little, he's floating to the left. Now, if I turn up my flow magnitude, I can make that dramatically quicker here so that he pu gets pushed back faster okay and you can adjust that maybe that's the idea of your game is if you miss the jump you fall into the drink and then you get pushed back the other way either way we now have buoyancy here and uh, that allows us to hop out of here now the other thing that I'd point out in all of this I'm gonna hop out for a moment and we're going to uh, zoom in here and I'm gonna go ahead and click up in this general area Okay, so we've located the platform that uh, my character is going to be interacting with here. And if I drop this down, I've got a couple platforms that are in here. It's not very good organization, but you'll get the idea. Now, here's my platform that's immediately to the right of the acid bath. And one of the adjustments I had to make here so that he wouldn't go right through the side of this is, of course, on here, I had to take my box collider and I had to edit it so it covers the whole space here. So now he can't just drift right through the side of this and drop out the bottom, which would be a major game flaw. The other thing that I did to kind of allow him to create some friction here and jump out of the acid bath because he's bobbing up and down, which doesn't allow his jump um, animation to actually trigger, is I put the platform effector uh, traditionally, we've been going with like 110 degrees like that, and that's because he's just interacting with the top of the platform. So what I did is I increased the platform effector to the full 360, so now when he bumps into the side, he's able to actually jump out here, and that's going to create the necessary friction to do that. So that's the only other adjustment that I would make, is if you're working with water and platforms, you want to be able to jump out of this, um, this would be a way to go ahead and adjust that so you can do so. Okay, um, and that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, you've got your acid bath with a buoyancy effector on it now. Whether it's water or acid, I think this will be a useful thing to add a little bit of realism to your game environment. And uh, thanks again for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.